Hey, this is Chris from DocketWise, and today I'm excited to show you a little bit more about our integration with Clio. In this video, I'll be going real quickly over just a, an overview of the integration, how to set up the integration, as well as seeing the integration in action. So let's start with a brief overview of the integration. Our integration with Clio enables a two-way sync between both platforms for context as well as matters. Now, just on a side note, there is the option to enable just a one-way sync, which would sync information for context and matters from Clio into DocketWise. Now let's jump into the attributes that are synced over or between both platforms. For contact, the name of the contact is synced over. That includes first, middle, and last name. The email address for the contact, um, the primary phone number, the primary email address, as well as the physical address and the matter to which the client or contact is associated. And for matters, I'll just go over to Clio to show this. The matter attributes that sync between both platforms would be the title of the matter that would adhere to the naming conventions um, within the firm settings in Clio as well as the description for the matter and the primary client or contact for the matter. Now let's jump into setting the integration up. From DocketWise, we would first want to navigate to settings. And then from settings, we will just jump over into integrations. From here, we will locate the Clio, uh, the Clio integration and click activate Clio. From here, we will be brought to a prompt to allow access course we will allow access for this and our sync is set up look we have matters here and also all contacts here and then we can see the same thing also reflected in our Clio account so we'll go to contacts we can see all of our contacts here as well as all of our matters and also as I had noted before the the naming conventions of the title of the matter in Clio will take priority um, over the over the name of the the matter in in DocketWise. Now, also, when I create a new contact or a matter in Clio, it will automatically appear in DocketWise, and vice versa. So now let's go and create eight. Let's say we're going to create a new contact and a matter in Clio. So we'll start with the contact. Let's say. Mario, search, and we'll fill in his email address here as well. And we can skip these fields for now, and let's proceed to create the matter. Um, let's say that for the specific case, let's say it's an AOS case, and we will select the permissions here. And also another thing to note is that in order for a matter to be synced from Clio to DocketWise, the matter's permissions should be set to everybody or everyone. So we now have this. Let's indicate the responsible attorney and we will save the matter. And let's head back over into DocketWise. So let's just give it a refresh. And we will see now our new client Dario is also appearing in DocketWise. So we'll go to Dario and we'll open up his matter. So now that we have our contact in DocketWise, we have the opportunity or the ability to be able to send out a comprehensive questionnaire based on immigration forms for our client to complete that will automatically populate the forms within DocketWise.